A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed, for as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes, but Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Will you join with me? Alleluia. 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 Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. 
Hallelujah. Jesus has risen today. Lord, we love you and we thank you with open hearts. We, we come before you this morning on this Easter Sunday morning and we come before you with great thanksgiving and with joy and with happiness and with love within our hearts and our homes, our churches, and indeed the whole of this, your world. Welcome to each and every one of you this morning. In the name of Jesus, the risen one. Welcome to our Easter Sunday morning service. Bless you, each and every one of you. Indeed, the stone has been rolled away and Jesus has risen. Alleluia! He is risen. Will you say it with me? Alleluia! He is risen. As I said, we have so much for which we can be thankful and I just invite you in this time to open up your hearts to all the goodness, all the goodness and all the grace that our Lord has to offer to each and every one of us. What a great blessing it is that we are here today on this Easter Sunday morning and that we can offer up unto the Lord our praises and indeed our thanksgiving. Alleluia! He is risen. Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. I invite us to take a moment to gather around the Christ candle now and to to relight um, the light of the world here within our service of worship and indeed to join Christians through the whole of the world as we light once again the Christ candle. Alleluia. Jesus has risen. Amen and amen. There is surprise. There is wonder. There is joy. God's love is here. Christ is risen indeed. Life-giving God, the shadows and the gloom of Good Friday have been dispersed by the light and color of Easter Sunday morning. We rejoice in the power of your love that turns our sorrow into joy, our despair into hope, and our discouragement into faith-filled living. Help us, Holy One, this Easter morning to burst out of the tombs of our lives with joy and thanksgiving. We pray all of this in the name of the risen Christ who lives among us now and forevermore. Amen. Let us take a moment on this Easter Sunday morning, such a blessed and sacred day. Let us take a moment to open up our hearts and our ears, indeed our whole selves, to the hearing and to the receiving of these words from Holy Scripture. And as you hear and listen, may you truly, truly be blessed. Amen. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Now I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which also you stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I have handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Amen. And also from Acts. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality 
But in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter from all of us. Go out into the world and spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you this Easter Sunday and indeed forevermore. May God bless you all. Amen.